There's a term, uh, once a Marine, always a Marine, but there's also the term, eat the apple, F the core. I don't work for you no more. <laughs> On April 18th, 2006, I had my first confirmed kill. Uh, this man was innocent. I don't know his name. I called him the fat man. Um, he was walking back to his house, and I shot him in front of his friend and his father. The first round didn't kill him after I had hit him up here in his neck area. And afterwards, he started screaming and looked right into my eyes. So I looked at my friend who, was, who I was on post with, and I said, well, I can't let that happen. So I took another shot and took him out. He was then carried away by the rest of his family. It took seven people to carry his body away. We were all congratulated after we had our first kills, and that happened to have been mine. My, seat, or my company commander personally congratulated me, as he did everyone else in our company. This is the same individual who had stated that whoever gets their first kill by stabbing them to death will get a four-day pass when we return from Iraq. There was one incident where we got into a firefight just south of the government center, about 2,000 meters. We had no idea where the fire was coming from, and the way our rules of engagement were, pinpoint where the fire is coming from and throw a rocket at it. So with that being said, we still didn't know where the fire was coming from, and an 84 millimeter rocket was shot into a house. I do not know if there was anyone in it. We do not know if that's where the fire was coming from, but that's what was done. This man right here was my third confirmed kill. As you can see, he was riding his bicycle. This, later on in the day, we went ahead and uh, we had CBS Laura Logan with us, but she was with the other squad. And so she wasn't with us. So myself and two other people went ahead and took out some individuals because we were excited about the firefight we had just gotten into and we didn't have a cameraman or woman with us. With that being said, Anytime we did have embedded reporters with us, our actions would change drastically. We never acted the same. We were always on key with everything, play, did everything by the books. The, the man on the bicycle, he was left in the street for about 10 minutes until we realized that we needed to leave where we were. And his body was dragged about 10 feet to the right of him, where his body was thrown behind a rock wall and his bicycle was thrown on top of him. House raids, <coughs> because we were a grunt battalion, we were responsible for going on several patrols. Uh, a lot of the raids and patrols we did were at the night, around three o'clock in the morning, around there. Um, and what we would do is just kick in the doors and terrorize the families. That was an image taken around three o'clock in the morning through night vision goggles. And that is uh, the segregation of the women and children and the men. Um, if, if the men of the household were giving us problems, we'd go ahead and take care of them any way we felt necessary, whether it be choking them or slamming their head against the walls. That was one man that wasn't taken, uh, that was taken care of in a very bad way. Because, because of all the, the wiring that he had, it would be considered an IED making material. That is the Fatimat Mosque Minaret. As you can see, it is written with bullet holes and holes in the top of it. Those were from mortars. This is um, after uh, one, of, one of the guys in the uh, weapons company had gotten shot. Uh, this is a way that we would take out our aggression. For those of you who don't know, it is illegal to shoot into a mosque unless you were taking fire from it. There was no fire that was taken from that mosque. It was shot into because we were angry. I am sorry for the hate and destruction that I have inflicted on innocent people. And I'm sorry for the hate and destruction that others have inflicted on innocent people. At one point, it was okay. But reality has shown that is not, and that this is happening, and that until people hear about what is going on with this war, it will continue to happen, and people will continue to die.